the Henry Street Settlement has made great strides uh, along with the Municipal Art Society in terms of understanding their need to control their energy costs and taking steps in order to do that. Uh, they've done so with the multiple energy audits that were done and more importantly with the Eco Charette that was held in June of this past year. What we are here for today is to discuss the study of the heating system. Right, so what happens is it fires, it creates steam, the steam goes up through the building, heats all the spaces, and then when the heat timer cycles out, the boiler shuts off and things start to cool down. So there's no more heat being put out into the space. So you wind up with temperatures that swing. Some of those uh, temperature recordings I saw in one of the reports show that sort of sawtooth of uh, temperature rise and then drop and, and it happens you know day after day hour after hour this seesaw of temperature swings it might be anywhere from five to eight degrees so what we've done is we walked through the building and we've looked at the state of the existing heating and cooling systems and they are responsive to a building that has or an institution that has grown through the years has used their available space and has responded to the need to heat and cool and provide comfort conditions for their staff. Because right now, there are no controls on the heating system and the uh, cooling system is all individual. Um, we'll develop a series of options that can be implemented in order to provide a comprehensive heating and cooling system for the building in a way that allows each individual space to have its own uh, level of comfort control. So if you can move the heat around within the building, that really reduces your operating costs, carbon footprint, and it, it really does a bunch of good things.